With a deer now on the deck, as day four on the island comes to a close, there's a real sense of satisfaction in the camp. There's ample time to just kick back beside the fire, catch up on the latest hunting news in the rod and rifle, and tuck into what is regarded by many as the best eating deer in the world. I'm back Lee, ready for dinner. Yummy. Over a protein rich dinner of meat, meat and more meat, the lads formulate their rough plan of attack for the remaining few days on the island. And with settled weather forecast, hopes are high for more success. Oh, coffee's gonna be good. Someone fell out of a tree stand. In theory, sitting in a tree for a few hours sounds like a rather lazy way of hunting. The reality is very different. Yeah, the tree stand can be quite a challenge, you know, like uh, it can be freezing cold. It's, it's coming into winter now, so you've got to rug up for that. Your hands aren't working properly, your boots are wet some days, they're freezing. You've got to stay still for hours. You don't know which direction the deer is coming from. They can come directly behind you and you don't even know they're there. They're, they're so quiet, they sneak up on you without you realising. So all your movements you've got to keep right down. Um, and it's easy to nod off when you're in stand as well. I mean, you're putting in long hours, often days on end. Um, yeah, you get pretty tired sometimes. It's lucky you've got a harness on. 